So the last day for the LPGA's Indy Women in Tech Championship. They've been on the greens at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway all week long. Sunrise reporter Anna Carrera is live for us there right now. Good morning, Anna. Yeah, good morning, Alyssa. It has been a great week so far. We're expecting, of course, hopefully some nice weather today to kind of round out the competition. We've got Jody here, who's a pr the executive director of the Iowa Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, where are we? And talk to us a little bit about what we're doing here. Oh, today we are at the iconic Indianapolis Motor Speedway <laughs> celebrating 144 of the best, world's best women golfers. They are competing for the championship today, so we really are so excited to have the audience and uh, your viewers come out today. We've got a lot going on today, uh -huh. robotics uh, for the kids. We really, uh, it's one of our programs that we work with, Tech Point Foundation for Youth, over across the state, over 17,000 kids are on robotics teams. We've grown that program to 903 over the past two years, mm -hmm. and it really does get them um, engaged in problem solving, STEM activities. Um, it's a great way to start. Yeah, absolutely, because one of the things that I thought was neat is that obviously you guys are here for this week, but you guys do so much more outside of here to kind of really draw in, especially with the STEM connections with young kids. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's what Indie Women in Tech is all about, is really engaging women at the adult level mm -hmm. to pursue STEM-related and tech-related employment. At the elementary school, we work with Tech Point to build actually robotics teams across the state. Um, we are actually the wor second uh, second in the world largest competition for VEX robotics across uh, the world. Um, and that was all through Mayor Ballard when he was uh, a mayor. Um, and then at the uh, middle school level, we have Ignite Your Superpower STEM Day coming up on IUPUI campus September 10th. Uh, 650 girls will come and really do hands-on experiences to get them engaged in STEM. That's great. Jody. thank you so much. We've got some thank information you. Uh, for you guys about if you want to come out here, check out all the STEM activities we've got going on. Coming up in the next hour, though, Alyssa, we're going to be talking about these robotics and how they're able to learn how to do what they do here.